It is very important to actually know Jesus Christ as your Saviour. There's people out there today who do not know or realise the danger that they're putting themselves in when they're rejecting the gift of salvation. I don't want you to wander through life today, my friends, thinking at the end of it that you're going to be dead and that's going to be the game over. No, God made you to live forever. You were designed to live forever. But it's only through sin that we're not going to live forever on this earth. And because of all have sinned, you know, one man brought sin into the world, that is Adam. Don't think that Adam and Eve is a myth, but it never happened, because it really did happen. If it didn't happen, why is it that we're all sinners? Yeah, you know, friend. Yeah, your conscience bears witness against you, that's why you're laughing. People laugh at the things of God, but I'm not going to waste my time with that. I'm not wasting my time today of being here. You are wasting your time of not wanting to receive the truth. If you're not wanting to receive Jesus Christ as Saviour, if you've got happy to go through life thinking, putting, having doubts in your mind, and being of all sorts of excuses for not wanting to know Jesus, you're the one who is wasting your time. You're the one that's going to have to stand there before God and give an account of this day. Don't think that God cannot see what you're doing because he knows what you're doing. The invitation to salvation, the invitation to come know Jesus Christ as Saviour is here. The kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is right here in this world. The kingdom of God is here. But because people are blinded by the devil, you know, the blinded to the light, the blinded to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the blinded to the truth, because the devil has to keep unbelievers blinded to the truth. That's what the devil will do. He will keep you blinded to the truth, but you may not come to realize that you need a savior. The devil will put doubts in your minds then to you today. And he will say to you that you do not need to take Jesus Christ as Saviour. That these guys on the streets are a lie and they are not telling you the truth. That's what the devil might put in your mind today. Or the devil might put in your mind today saying that it's not important to take Jesus Christ as Saviour. Live your life the way you want to live it. After all, your life is your life. You can do what you want with it. Yes and no. Yes, your life. You can do what you want with it. But it's not your life to do what you want with it. You have to give an account of how you lived your life before the most holy God. People in this generation today like to think that they will not stand before the most holy God and will not have to give an account of their lives and how they lived their lives. When it says in God's word, it is written that one should die and then face the judgment. How you face it? It's a decision that you make today, because today is the day of salvation. Today is a new day where you can have the slates washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. Today, my friends, if you're laughing, take the laughter off your face. Today, my friends, if you're laughing at Jesus Christ, you don't want to be laughing, you want to be mourning. You want to be crying. You want to be weeping over your wretched, simple situation before a most holy God. You will be down on your knees begging for Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. Because in hell, there will be people who are probably thinking the same thing as what you're thinking right now. And they've been told, probably told the same thing about Jesus Christ. And they've only been thinking to themselves, oh, we're going to hell. No such place. Well, I'm mistaken they are because that's where they are. There's probably people in hell today who have probably been thinking the same thing as what you're thinking today. By saying to yourselves that this man is a liar, it's not the truth, but it's another way. Is there? Is there another way? What way is that then, sir? Give it to yourself. Well, it's not Mohammed, is it? He's not the way. None of all. You know who it is then, don't you? You don't? You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you who the only way is? To get right with God? To have a right standing before God? You want to tell me? You want me to tell you that? Jesus Christ. Amen, yeah? Alright. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. There it is, black and white. Or black and red or whatever. 
He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Only by Jesus are you saved. Only by Jesus Christ are you saved from the eternal hell. Only by Jesus Christ are you saved from the eternal flame that burns forever and is never quenched. Are you only saved by the blood of Jesus Christ from the torment and the damnation and the wailing and the gnashing of teeth in a, in a dreadful hell? Hell is a real place. Why? Because God said it's real. And if you are putting your opinion above God's opinion, saying, God, you don't know what you're on about. I've never been to hell, so there's no such place as a hell. Oh, Jesus Christ has been there. God made hell for the devil and his demons. And as many unbelievers are there in hell, because they refused the gift of salvation, which is through Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ said, no one comes to the Father except by me. By Jesus are you saved. Nobody else. You could have stand there before most holy God, clothed in your own righteousness, because you haven't got any righteousness. Your best lack of filthy rag before most holy God. I tell you now, my friends, if you're going to carry on in your unbelief, knowing that you've been given the gift of salvation today, hell fire is where you're going to be going. That's where you're going to end up forever. Where the flame is never quenched, that the worm never dies, that the worm is your soul. And there's people in hell, my friends, who are screaming out right now, and they're saying, water, water, water. They will say it every billion times, but water will never come. There is people in hell now who've got to be told a million times, if not more, about the salvation of Jesus Christ. But how they wished that they had just turned away from their ignorance and their arrogance and their rebelliousness. And only just come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Saviour. But it is too late, too late, too late. If you've been, if you've got ears today, then listen. If you've got ears, I'd like to preach to you about gold and silver and saying, well, there it is. I'll get you, give you a pick up. You get hacking, I can guarantee this gold into that slab. Yes, your ears would be pricked. Your eyes would be opened. Your heart would pump a beat. You would jump with joy. But well, my friends, I talk to you about Jesus Christ and make him back to an island. This generation is a sin quenched generation. It's just deep in sin in this generation. The abominational acts, the sexual immorality, the disgusting perversiveness that goes up in society which is just taken as it was in Sodom and Gomorrah's day. It goes like a stench before the nostrils of a most holy God. Repent or you will perish. You know what you got to do, friend? you got to take Jesus Christ as your Saviour, no excuse. Yes, what are you going to do? You know what you got to do? You've got a conscience, your conscience bears witness against you. No excuse for the work, sir. I read a parable, it is written, but what do you think? If a man had two sons, and the one came to him first and said, Son, go to work in my vineyard. But his first son said, I will not. But afterwards he regretted it, and he went. Then he came to the second son, and he said, Likewise. And the second son said, I will go, sir. But he didn't go. Which of the two sons did the will of the father? And the Pharisees and the Sadducees that day would have turned out for the first. And Jesus said, but surely I say to you that text collectors and the harlots are entering the kingdom of God before you. If you do not want to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, sinners, tax collectors, harlots and the whores are going into the kingdom of God before you while you are just standing outside in the outer darkness. You go take Jesus Christ as your Saviour, excuses won't work, friend. You know what you've got to do. Yeah. At the earth by the heart, that's what the mouth thinks. Yeah. It is written. I saw there I say to you that tax collectors and the harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him. For tax collectors and harlots believed him. And when you saw it, he did not ask you to relent and believe him. There's people today who are not repenting of their sins, not relenting of their sins and coming to know Jesus Christ as Saviour. 
We live in a generation today where people are saying, oh, I've heard about Jesus Christ. I know what he did on the cross, but he has no relevant place in my life. Wake up, you sin sense generation. Wake up, you people who are dead in spirit. You claim to be alive, but you are dead in spirit. You people today who say that you are alive, but you are dead, dead and dead without the spirit of God. My friends, every one of us is born dead. Every one of us is born blind. Until you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, you will remain blind. Until you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior, then you will remain dead. Dead sinners. You love the world because you're of the world. You love the world because you're of the world. I'll say that again. You are, because you love the world, you're of the world. Well, because when people, when God chooses people out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. Because the world does still not understand this day that a great light has dawned. The people in this generation today still do not understand that a great light has dawned and Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus Christ came to bring light into the souls and the hearts and the darkened parts about the body of the human person, the human being. Well, yet you're still happy to walk in darkness. If you have the whole world, why lose your very soul? Why gain the whole world? but lose your very soul. Am I joking today about what I'm saying? No, I'm not. Jesus Christ is God's Son. Fully God, fully man. The Word was flesh, and the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst man. He came to his own, but his own did not receive him not. He came to his own, but his own did not receive him. For as many as believed, he was given the right to be the sons of God. Come on. As many as believed, he was given the right to be the sons of God. And if you are not a son and daughter of God, then who must you be a son and daughter of? Because if you sin, you do the devil's bidding. You belong to the devil, your father, the devil, if you've not got Jesus Christ as your saviour. Because you are dead and that's how the devil has to keep you in a dead situation. The devil has to keep you in a blinded situation. The devil has to keep you in a lost situation. The devil wants to keep you in that situation they want to keep you in. Why? Because the devil has been judged. When Jesus Christ went to the cross, he came to destroy the works of the devil. When Jesus Christ went to the cross, he came to give his life as a ransom for many. And that's what he did. He gave his life as a ransom for many. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of sins as he was on the, on the dying cross. Jesus Christ said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And you do not know what you do when you're going through life without Jesus Christ. You do not know when you're walking through life without Jesus Christ. I was like that once. I was dead, but hallelujah, I'm alive. I was blind, but hallelujah, I can see. I was lost, but hallelujah, I've been found by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ found me. I was in that slimy pit of hell. I had no chance. I tried to get out of the pits of hell, but I couldn't get out. The shackles hold my ankles. The shackles hold my wrists. But when I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ, a light came down upon me and took them shackles from my wrist, took them shackles from my ankles, and took me out of the slimy pit of hell and stood me on a rock. And Jesus Christ is the rock. And Jesus Christ is the living waters. Yes. Because Jesus Christ brings life into that dead and body of yours. And today Jesus Christ is willing to bring life into that dead and body of yours today. If you are willing to come today, the Lord Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Saviour. For he is King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For his blood never runs dry. His blood is as powerful today as what it was when it was shed on the cross, cross at Calvary. Jesus Christ said, I am the same yesterday, today and forever. I never change. Jesus Christ said there is no other name. But Jesus Christ is above every name. In the heavens, on the earth and on the earth below. Every knee will bow before him on the heavens, on the earth, and on the earth below. Are you weeping and crying over your sin, wretched generation today? Are you crying over your sins today? Or are you just got your eyelids to where your eyes are looking in the skies and thinking to yourself today, Jesus Christ, why do we need to hear him? My friends, wake up to your sin situation. Because my friends, your sin will condemn you. If you think that your sin is not going to condemn you, Right, that means you're in pride. You're in pride. You're in selfishness. If you do not want to know the Lord Jesus Christ, you are in pride. You're in selfishness.
selfishness. You are saying to yourself today, if you don't want to know Jesus Christ as Saviour, you're probably saying to yourself today, I do not want to know him. What has he done for me? I tell you what Jesus Christ has done for you. He went to the cross and died for you. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of sins so you don't have to shed your blood. Jesus Christ died so you don't have to die. Jesus Christ was risen to life on the third day so that on the last day, you will be risen to life on the last day. And those who have come to know Jesus Christ as Saviour will be risen to life on the last day and they'll be risen to life and they'll be blessed. They'll inherit the eternal kingdom prepared for them since the creation of the world. But the wicked will live. Hey, well, my friends, I tell you, the wicked, they'll be risen to life on the last day and they'll be condemned. They'll be in hell forever. Jesus Christ said that without me you cannot do anything. If you think you can save yourself before a most holy God, you cannot. If you think you can stand there before God in your own in your own righteousness, you cannot. If you think I'm lying today, you can as you are. I love you. And if I didn't love you, I would not be telling you that you need to take Jesus Christ as Saviour. If I didn't love you, I'd do exactly what Jesus said. Leave them. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. Leave them. Stay up, blind guys. If I did not love you, my friends, I'll be doing what Paul said. If a city persecutes you and tries to kill you, shake the dust off your feet and go to another city. For it would be more bearable on Judgment Day for Sodom and Gomorrah than what it would be for that city. I'm talking to the Muslim out there today. My Muslim friends out there, I'm talking to you. You've got to receive Jesus Christ as your saviour. Some Muslims might turn around and say, I've got Jesus. No, you haven't. You need to take Jesus Christ. If there's any Jehovah's Witnesses out there, Mormons, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists, Sikhs, Hindus, turn away from it. Because Jesus Christ said that people will come and say, I am the way and deceive many. Many people are getting deceived. Because they claim that people of the earth are the way. Only Jesus Christ came down from the heavens. He put his glory to one side. He came, in, he came down as a man. Fully God, fully man. Went to the cross. Right for you. If you, don't want to, if you want to know what true love is, you look at the cross. If you want to know what true love is, you look at Jesus Christ down for you. If you want to know what true, uh, true love is, you look at Jesus Christ then for the agony for you to take your sin, the condemnation, the hell that we deserve, Jesus Christ took it upon himself. And yet still in this generation, you blind people, you blind guides, you go through life thinking to yourself today that I'm joking about what I'm saying. You're putting your soul on the block. You're in a peril danger. Every time you are rejecting Jesus Christ, you are one step closer to eternity. You're going to hell without Jesus Christ. And in 